etcétera. Hoy vamos a hablar de una marca muy interesante que se llama Infinix. Para los que no lo conocen, él es el CEO. So, Benjamin, please introduce yourself and tell us what you do in Infinix. I am Benjamin Jan. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Infinix for Global Business. Okay, so what's the philosophy be behind the brand? You know, when I created the brand, uh, I want to bring the new technology closer to the youngsters. I mean, make it quickly coming out of the market and affordable to youngsters. So the philosophy, we call it the future is now, means the future technology closer to the youngest, youngster. Okay, and tell me about the market share. How much do you have? Because you guys are big in, in the number of units you move in the market. So tell us about that. Uh, Infinix, uh, we are working uh, under the umbrella of Chenshin Group. Currently, we are uh, having, we are the sixth largest uh, mobile device, uh, mobile company in the world for smartphone only. But if you talk about feature phone plus smartphone, maybe we are the largest one now by device. Okay, and where do you want to be in two years? Uh, by the way, we are now very focused on this uh, uh, market, Colombia. Uh, we plan to launch quarter by quarter new devices uh, in Colombia. Recently, we are going to bring two latest uh, uh, production lines, product lines in Colombia. One we call Hot Series, H-O-T. Yeah. Another we call Note Series. Hot Series is already being very popular across the world. Uh, which is known as the best budget gaming phone. Note series based on the game and performance. We make the design really, um, you know, stylish and attractive. And how does it goes together, budget and gaming <laughs> at the same line? How do you manage yeah, that? You know, um, if you are a gamer, you know that your your device needs to be very powerful. CPU room ram and also the hardware and software need to be matched perfectly right so that you can get the experience that you want on gaming but usually when you have this kind of specification in your device the device become very expensive so the job of infinix is to combine these two together to hard job yeah <laughs> <laughs> really yeah, that's true <laughs> okay and what is success for you and for the brand I think the success for the brand is first is focus. We are, I think, uh, probably the only brand in the world that focusing only on the emerging market. I mean, the youngsters living in the emerging market. Second is localization. So we always believe to use the local talents. You know, for example, our, our, our teams in Colombia and even across the world is mostly combined uh, mostly from the local talents local schools local companies and we work with local partners so we want to be global so you mean global technology with local insights and talents okay and how are you going to grow here because the, the market is really tough uh, actually i like this this market a lot you know you cannot say it's tough it's it's normal for business is normal. So recently we, 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 we are very much focused on, on, on this market. Uh, reason one is because I, we feel like after pandemic, the youngsters in this market starting to be very much focusing on mobile contents. You know, social is like before, but gaming is much heavier engaged yeah. like comparing to before, like two years back. This we can see clearly from the bigger data. So we find that Infinix starting to have great opportunity as the position and vision like I shared just with, with you. So this is one second. Recently, I think uh, we are starting to find ourselves more ready in terms of organization. I mean, we're starting to have talents coming, you know, that. In, in, ensure that we can provide the, the required service uh, to the local uh, customers. That's why. So are you guys planning to have local shops? Of course, yeah. Okay, and, and also local support? Yeah, local service. That's good. Um, so for you, that 
for sure you know a lot about your, your customers and your user or how do you make them happy and keep them like that first of all we we don't we don't want to we want to be very focused on the youngsters there's a lot of different different customers yeah. right different age groups different um, um, you know tribes you can say like that for Infinix, we want to focus on use, and especially use that is uh, technology, early tech adopters who are very, you know, much educated about technology, who care a lot about performance, gaming, photography. So we want to understand, based on our global, you know, insight, but what we want to understand the local uh, use in Colombia. We believe it's different. It should be different from a uh, let somehow from you know use in other part of the world. So we want to focus on them. Okay. For the local customer, there's something that it's really important that it's the performance. Yeah. And it's usually it combines like the hardware and software. So how you guys envision that relationship? For example, some brand said I'm going to give them a lot of updates, like for example, one, two, or three flavors of Android. Yeah. Some other says, no, I'm not going to, to provide them updates, but uh, I'm going to provide them security patches. Yeah. And some other says, I'm, I'm going to provide them the best hardware possible. So what's the combination that Infinix has? Uh, there's two, two layers of the commitments if you talk about software updates. Yeah. The basic layer is the agreement everyone signed with Google. Yeah. Uh, we call GMS or MADA. Yeah. So according to that, we have to provide re regular uh, security patch update. This is basic, right? But but it changes, no? It's Monthly by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we don't think uh, to update like monthly is very convenient for customers. Okay. Basically, we follow the Google guidance. Another layer is, uh, I think, different from brands. For Infinix, we, we, uh, we start to do uh, Android uh, version update on our mm -hmm. Note series and Zero series once in their lifetime. Means when you buy um, a Note device, uh, uh, for example, on Android T, then we will uh, update to a, a newer, uh, next Android version in your lifetime one time so that's the commitment yeah okay and what's the customer care strategy what do you do for customers in order to keep them happy yeah we want to work with the local uh, service providers uh, based on our service technical supporting team we have already set up our technical supporting team in Colombia um, starting from two years ago I think so uh, combined with the local service networks and our own support, we think we are able to now provide the support, the commitment that we, we need for service. Okay, so for your customer like install base, yeah, the ones that are already buying Phoenix and they like the brand and things like that, yeah. what, what are the most important features? You said gaming, that's yeah. one. Cameras. Yeah. What other futures do they look for? Of course, 5G is a very important thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, maybe people at the moment, they are okay with 4G for, for, for social or for gaming. But Also because we don't have 5G here, but we are yeah. hoping to get it. <laughs> Sooner or later, because yeah. uh, especially, you know, if you are a customer, you want to purchase a phone, you know, quite expensive one. You, you want to use it for longer time or you want to trade it with a reasonable price after one year, two years. At that time, you will feel 4G, 5G is important because sooner or later, the country is going to implement 5G, right? So 5G is, I think, is an important thing, but uh, I'm not saying 4G is going to uh, gone, to be, to, 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 to gone from, uh, to leave the market soon. It is still very important. But anyway, 5G can provide a different, uh, diff, uh, you know, experience in future. Uh, secondly, I think uh, uh, performance, uh, 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 charging performance is very important because 
uh, no one want to carry a very big phone, very heavy phones with them. Especially yeah. today, people have maybe more than one device, right? So usually we will keep a built-in battery, 5,000 or 6,000 uh, mAh inside the phone. But how to, you know, fulfill the demands of charge, especially if you are a gamer. Yeah. You play game heavily. Then you will find out that the battery will consume, right? So I think to recharge the phone in shortest time is very important. So that's also something we want to, you know, bring down to a lower category, a lower price segment to make our customer happy. And something that usually a lot of our audience get to ask us is why in Phoenix and not any other brand in the, in the market? Uh, yeah, why, why choosing in Phoenix and oh. not another brand? Yes, I just uh, uh, mentioned right just now. I think uh, we are very focused on use. We want to provide them the best performance phone with affordable price. And also we want to provide them performance phone with good design, right? So I think that's the key of Phoenix. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gracias.